I do a heck of a lot less, a lot, lot less. Uh, I would, if I had to put in numbers, I'd say I'm probably doing overall work per workout, maybe 80% less work than I used to do. But you still get, you're still getting good results. I'm uh, getting the results I want, but then, uh, when I was training for competition, um, I was I was after a whole different look. Uh, I was after size and extreme definition, uh, so I was pushing. But now I'm not. Uh, now I I, I just want to <coughs> take it down to the the essential body, just to the basic structure. At least that's what I got in, in the image in my head. Um, I, I want to, you know, we uh, uh, humans acknowledge intellectually <coughs> that our bodies are, that we are animals, that our physical body is that of, of an animal. But uh, I don't think we accept it uh, really on, on a deep level. And uh, I want to see what the body would look like as an animal, just the the human animal. If I can strip away everything, uh, all of the influences of uh, added sugars and added salts and uh, processed and refined and just what it would look like if I were an animal eating natural foods that I found out in the, in the forest, you know. For, so it, it, is the reason for you to want to do that? Is that just curiosity, or is it to show something that you're doing? It's yeah. The the point is that we <clears throat> that we really are animals. I I think if I achieve that the look I have of the human animal, I think people would appreciate it more. Appreciate the fact that we are animals more because I don't think we've ever seen ourselves, just visually seen ourselves in that state of just pure animal state. It's always influenced by, uh, by mainly by what we eat and what we do, you know, the, the, the way we look. So that's, that's it, I wanna, I, I think, because the image I've got in my head, I think if I can get that image out that looking like an animal, really being an animal, that people would say, yeah, that's, that's pretty good, that's, that's attractive, that's, you know, that looks great. So they would be appealed to it in, in true terms of instinctual or, or almost impurity of uh, the image that you're presenting? It's, it's yeah, free of... Free of, of as much human influence, cultural influence, dietary influence, as I can get it. Just strip it back to what I would look like, what a human would look like if they just ate uh, as an animal. If I were out in the forest and eating what I could find, what I would look like, what the human would look like. That's interesting. It's an interesting because uh, I think that I think that would be appealing to people to really see ourselves as an animal if we were an animal and living like an animal. Um, so yeah, one it, yes, it's curiosity on my part, and two, I think it would uh, uh, it might change people's. Uh, feeling that uh, yes we're an animal but I don't want to look like an animal so if I can show them it looking like an animal is, is good is, you know, maybe they would feel different about how we relate to other animals that yes we are an animal and how we relate to other animals because I, like I said I think we, we may say it but I don't think we really believe it because we don't think of ourselves, we don't see ourselves as an animal. I think if we can see ourselves as an animal, we might uh, think 
differently of other animals, of, of ourselves in relationship to other animals.